Okay. Uh, last week we talked about uh, like introduction on computer and what is a computer system what are what is the history of uh, computer development and of course uh, one uh, newman model and other uh, introductions and today we will start chapter two which is uh, like number systems okay so what is number systems uh, first let me tell about the ob objectives of this uh, uh, lecture and then I will uh, tell you what are the different systems of each number so we want in this chapter we want to learn to understand the fundamentals of numerical data representation and manipulation in digital computer so how does a computer manipulate read access and modify the data we want to like learn how to convert the different radix system because the numbers can be represented in different systems and we want to learn how to uh, read and uh, convert those numbers to other uh, radix and we want to also learn how errors can occur in computation computations because of overflow and uh, <clears throat> other problems okay so uh, first, before everything, I want to tell you what is a bit. I already mentioned what is a bit. Bit is the smallest possible piece of information, and it has only two values. Bit can be zero or one. In a wire, let's assume we have a wire. There is a voltage on that wire or there is no voltage on that wire. So if a voltage is connected to the wire, we consider it as one. If there is no voltage connected to the wire, we consider it as zero. So we have zero and one. And of course we can say one is on and zero is on off okay so the smallest uh, unit of information or we can say one is high the high voltage in a wire and zero is a low voltage on a wire okay so it's the way we like uh, consider a bit so a bit is zero or one so what about a group of bits? We can put eight bits next to each other, eight bits next to each other and call it a byte. So one zero, one zero, 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 zero one, one, one zero. Okay, so this one is eight bits and it is one byte. Okay, so usually in a computer uh, science and computer engineering when you want to get your uh, like internet connection sometimes you see the speed they say it is 10 capital m capital b or 10 capital m lowercase b is there any difference between these two or no there is a big difference between capital b and lowercase b because capital B means one megabytes. Lowercase b means 10 megabits. Okay? So be careful about this uh, B. Sometimes some uh, like companies to sell better, okay, to sell better, they like the, the full people. So they just instead of showing the information and it's speed by megabyte, they represent the information by megabit, okay? So watch out for this lowercase or uh, uppercase B. If it is capital B, it means that it's uh, like eight times more than lowercase B. So 10 megabyte, capital byte, is equal to 
80 megabit. So you see how big is the difference? So eight times bigger. So it's very important to consider those capital B and lowercase b as uh, like uh, info, as the part of the information which are given to us. So this one is the uh, first part. Uh, so I introduced bit and byte. So what is like? Why do we need to know about byte? Why eight bits? Because a byte is the smallest possible addressable unit of a computer storage. So if we have data stored in a computer, the smallest unit, the smallest part or portion of the information we can get or access is one byte. We cannot access one bit of information from the memory. From the memory, if we want to get access to the memory, we need to get at least one byte of information, okay? So, um, again, if you have any questions, just uh, like type, uh, I have a question in the chat box and I will uh, unmute your microphone so you can ask your question. So, what does addressable mean? What does addressable mean? Addressable, in fact, means that something that we can retrieve based on its location. So, if, if we assume, uh -oh. let me share. Okay, if uh, we assume that, uh, if we assume that sometimes I, uh, I stopped uh, talking is because I'm trying to uh, adjust the recording uh, like on my tablet. Okay, if this is a memory, if this is a memory, memory has like, a, is a, lots of spaces. So the information are stored in this memory stored in this memory so information number a information b c anything is stored in this memory and each location of this memory has an address has an address let's say address 000 address 001 address 010 and different addresses okay so each location has one address Addressable means that we can access to any of this data, like data C, based on its location on the memory, okay, in the memory. So based on the location of that uh, info particular information in the memory, we can access to that data. Any question? Okay. Uh, good. Sam, do you have a question? Oh, how many bits are address? Oh, okay, very good, very good. It depends, it depends to the size of the memory. We will discuss in, uh, in the, uh, like, uh, lectures, in our uh, upcoming lectures. It depends to the size of the memory. If, it's a very good question. So Sam asked how many bits are address for one byte. The address has nothing with the size of byte, okay? The address depends to the size of memory. How big is the memory? So if we have a memory like this, if we have a memory like this, which can store only four bytes, okay? Byte A, B, C, D. So how big is the address? In fact, we can say, we can add, uh, we can just uh, identify these four bits with two bit. So if it's zero, zero, it is address A. If it is zero, one, it's address B. 
if it is 1, 0, it's address C, and if it's 1, 1, it's address 1. Because the size of memory is a 4 byte, 4 byte, we say we need 2 bit for address. Okay, now let's continue. Let's say we have a memory with 8, like, locations with eight locations so location a b c d e f g h of course we cannot address this eight bits of information with two bits so we need three bits so zero 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 one zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 zero one 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 so the number of bits for each address depends to the size of the memory. How we can calculate it, I will learn it later, but because we already discussed it, let me, let me tell you. It, the number of bits we need for the address can be calculated by this equation. 2 to the power of n is size of memory. Okay, so what is n? n is number of bits for address. So, if we, the size of memory, if the size of memory is 8, what should be n? n is 3. If the size of memory is 32, 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So, we need 5 bits for the address. Is it clear now? Okay, good. So, let's continue. Okay, now that we know what addressable means and what is uh, what is like a byte, let's go to the move to the next uh, slide and see what we have. Okay, so. Do we have any like a group of bits more than 8 bits? Yes. If we have 8 bits, we call it a byte. But if we combine these bytes, we will have word. Okay? One word has a size of 16 bit, 32 or 64. But let me correct this uh, a slide. I believe this slide is not correct. Every word is a 16 bit, not 32 and uh, 64. Every word is 16 bit. Every word is one word is two bytes. Okay? What about uh, like uh, 32 bit? If we have uh, 32 bits, we call it double word, okay? So every word we consider as two bytes, okay? Is it clear? Okay, now uh, do we have any uh, unit smaller than one byte? Yes, we do. It's not accessible directly from the memory because as I mentioned, the smallest, the smallest uh, unit we can access from the memory is one byte, but we have a group of four bits that we call it nibble, okay? So four bits is called nibble. So we can just uh, consider it for the calculations, but we cannot access it directly from the memory. At least the minimum size of the memory we can, the minimum size of informa information we can access is one byte, okay? So one byte, consists of two nibbles, of course, high order and low order, okay? It's a very simple concept. If we have two bytes, okay, we have two <coughs> nibbles, and so the high order and the low order. Uh, the left one is high order, of course, and low order is here. Is it clear? Any question? Okay. Now, uh, let's go to the next slide and see uh, what are uh, numbering systems. <coughs> First, 
because uh, we started with chap this chapter by talking about byte and bit which are uh, like uh, in base 2 uh, there is uh, we want to see uh, like uh, how we can uh, consider and how we can do calculations using uh, this using this uh, system the first thing we should know that if we only have one and zero one and zero we call it base two base two in fact is the base for the number systems that which work with bit and byte okay and also we can call it binary system okay we usually call it binary system so binary system is a system which is based uh, like in base 2 and it only has 0 and 1 okay but now in our life when we count uh, regardless of the computer just when we talk uh, regularly about our gear about uh, our money about anything that we want to uh, like talk about the numbers we talk in base 10 base 10 we call it decimal system decimal system is base 10 and why base 10 because we have 10 digits which digits do we have we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 8 sorry 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 it's 10 digits because we have 10 digits we say it's base 10 okay or decimal base 10 or decimal in binary because we have just two numbers 0 and 1 we call it like base 2 and uh, like say it is uh, it is a uh, like binary number what about base 3 no base 5 can all of you send me which digits we have in base 5 just send it me with your uh, chat box which digits we have in base 5 write those digits next to each other very good uh, I see the answers yeah very good 0 1 2 3 4 it's very important and uh, like it's uh, and one other thing uh, I so in base 5 we have 0 1 2 3 4 okay so one thing that I sh should mention I don't want to forget it uh, I already forgot it uh, what was that oh yeah yeah when you want to count the number of books you have from which digit you start counting from digit mm -hmm. one so you have you say one book two books three books four books okay in like in but please please from now from now if you talking in computer engineering system start counting from zero okay so in computer engineering we start counting from zero if we have four apples we don't say first apple, uh, apple number one two three four we say apple number zero apple number one apple number two and apple number three so in order to start the numbers the numbers are started from digit zero not one okay it's very important okay so we have different uh, like uh, base numbers and uh, what bases do we have usually uh, the basis that we uh, work with uh, in computers is base 2 base base 2 base 8 base 10 and base 16 base 2 base 8 base 10 and base 16 these are the bases that we want to uh, like know how to work with them but one question here 
for base uh, for base and let me go to my uh, one note okay in base 2 I said that we have 0 and 1 okay in base 10 we have 0 1 up to 9 who can guess who can tell me for base 16 we have 0 up to which number 15. it's a question 15 okay 15. so I see some answers which says 15 okay and but 15 15 itself consists of two digits because one zero one two three four five six okay and so on uh, six and and then so when you say 15 15 itself consists of one digit one and digit five it cannot be used as a like another digit okay so for uh, i see some correct answers uh, but uh, so in bases more than 10 for bases more than 10 we use alphabetic symbols to represent digits so in base 16 we say 0 1 2 3 4 uh, 5 6 7 8 9 the next one is a okay a B, C, D, E, and F. So these are the digits for uh, base 16. So if, uh, if you see a number like 1, 2, F, A, 5, A, don't get confused. This is an actual number. It is an actual number, but in base 16. Okay, base 16. And each of the uh, like have uh, names. Uh, base sixteen uh, is in base hexadecimal, which we will discuss in more detail. Any question? Okay, and I see the answers you give me, and I will uh, consider the answers your participation in our discussion. Any part participation in uh, discussion through this Zoom chat will be considered as your activity in the class and all of it has all of them have positive points i will add to your final grades based on your activity in the class so i encourage you uh, just try to answer and reply me when i ask a question from you okay so uh, for one more time uh, you have one minute to send me your names to the chat box as a second attendant. Okay. Uh, now let's move to the next slide and see uh, what we have let's say we have a number in decimal decimal means base 10 what is the value of the number what's the positional value of the number how we determine what is the value or weight of 947 it's uh, very easy in fact the decimal numbers uh, like uh, are based on power of 10 based on they, their position multiplied by power of 10 so any number uh, like uh, is uh, can be written in this form any number in any base can be written in the form of a sub n r to the power of n plus a sub n minus 1 r to the power of m minus 1 plus up to a 0 times r to the power of 0 plus a sub minus 1 
r to the power of minus 1 plus up to a to the power of any value. So, mm, so, so this is the way we uh, determine the like the mm, value of the number. What are the numbers? What are these values? A is digits. So these digits that we see. Okay, A is uh, like the digit. What is R? R is base. If we are in base 10, R is 10. If we are in base 2, R is 2. If we are in base 16, R is 16. And what is lowercase n? It is the position. The position of the position of the bit. Okay? Now it's the general equation, general like a representation for all numbers regarding of their uh, position, regarding of their uh, like system, their base. So let's see uh, these two examples. So uh, 947. So if we want to, this, uh, we start from lower, uh, like the least significant bit, which is uh, digit, which is 7. So we say 7 times the base is 10 to the power of 0, plus 4 times 10 to the power of 1, plus 9 times 10 to the power of 2. If you calculate this value, uh, if you calculate this value, uh, 9 times 10 to the power of 2 uh, plus 4 times 10 to the power of 1 plus 7 times 10 to the power of 0, the final answer is 947. You may ask me why we do this, because the result is the, uh, the same as 943. Yeah, you're right, for 10 base, for base 10, no difference. But for other bases, it's very important for us to know the value of uh, each, num each number in any base in base 10, to find the value of that number in base 10. So if we have number x, number x in base 2, we want to know what's the value of this number in base 10. So in order to determine the value of the numbers uh, in base 10 from other bases, we can use this equation, okay? Uh, and uh, also we have uh, another example here, which has a number uh, with fractional part, uh, which is 5836.47. So for 5 is 5 times 10 to the power of 3, for 8 is 8 to the, times 10 to the power of 2, for 3 we have 3 times 10 to the power of 1, for 6 we have uh, uh, 6 times 10 to the uh, power of 0. After the decimal point, you see this decimal point? After it, we'll start from negative powers. Okay? So, 4 times 10 to the power of negative 1 and 7 times 10 to the power of negative 2. Any question? Okay, now that uh, there is no question, let's move to other bases. Let's talk about base 2. Now we will see the benefit or the functionality of the equations that we learned. Which equation? Uh, not equation, in fact, the representation. The, like this representation. So, if I ask you what is the value of this number? 11001 in base of in like which is binary number which is binary number because we also have 11001 in base 10 so it is 11001 so we also have this number in base 10 so it, this the base uh, like is part of the information that uh, has to be provided to us 
So it says that the number is in base 2, binary number. What is the value of this number in base 10? Now we can use that representation to find the value. So we start from the right uh, to left. So the first one is 1. So we say 1 times 2 to the power of 0. Why 2? Why not 10? Because it's base 2. Okay, because it's base 2. The next one, 0. 0 times 2 to the power of 1. The next one is 0. 0 times 2 to the power of 2. The next one is 1. 1 times uh, 2 to the power of 3. And the next one is 1. 1 times 2 to the power of 4. Now, we can calculate this value. If we do that, we will have 16 plus 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1. And we got 25. You see? Bingo. We got the answer. We found the equivalent of 11001 uh, binary number in base 10. It's the way we can calculate the number's value in base 10. Okay? And uh, so... Uh, here it says that when the radix of a number, radix means base, okay, the base of the number, is something other than 10, the base is denoted by the subscript. Sometimes the subscript 10 is added for emphasis. What does it mean? It means that if we have a number, 2, 5, we put it in parentheses, and using a subscript we say what is the base. So 25 in parentheses 8 means 25 in base 10. If we have just 25, we assume it is base 10. If we have 11001, we assume it is in base 10. In order to consider it in base 2, it has to be like denoted by subscript 2. So it tells that it all or something like this. It doesn't have a subscript, but it says, it says, let me, I'm waiting for my uh, screen to be updated. So, for example, this number, this number doesn't have like uh, the subscript, but it says directly that the number is a binary number. Okay? It says a binary number 1101. Or it can say, uh, instead of binary number 11001, it can say the number 11001 in base 2. Is it clear? Okay, so uh, all of you tell me if I have this number 859. And say this is in base 8. Is there any problem or no? Is this a statement correct or wrong? There is a problem because we are running out of time. We say base, yeah, I got the correct answer. Uh, because it's base 8, I see some of you said it can't have a 9. Yes, it can't have a 9 and 8. 9 and 8. Because base 8 has a digit from 0 to 7. Don't forget, I said start counting from 0, not 1. So base 8 has digits 0 to 7. So if I say 859 is base 8, it's wrong. Okay, so time's up. Uh, in fact, so, uh, it's 1. Uh, I will post new lectures, uh, your uh, homeworks. Let me just pause my recording. Um.